Let's go Mrs. Clementine, it's time for your trial. Let's go right now. Court is now in session. This is case number ZG4165251A in the Child Abuse and Neglect Trial, State of Florida v. Sonia Heitman Clementine. All rise. Please be seated. All right. We will begin with opening statements from the prosecution. Please begin, Eric. Okay. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the child abuse and neglect trial of Sonia Heitzman Clementine. From about June 5, 2023 to on or about October 10, 2023, it is noted that the defendant, Sonia Heitzman Clementine, abused about 24 students, ranging from ages of 10 years old to 21 years old. Let's begin with each student in alphabetical order. From about June 5, 2023 to on or about October 10, 2023, it is noted that the defendant, Sonia Heitzman Clementine, intentionally abused 14-year-old Jamin Abraham, 21-year-old William Anderson, 16-year-old Jaden Carter, 15-year-old Stefan Chani, 14-year-old Dominic Collada, 11-year-old Alan Doran, 12-year-old Emery Estrada, 16-year-old Senahid Fail. 13-year-old William Glover Jr., 10-year-old Frank Griffin, 12-year-old Anthony Hooper, 13-year-old Dora Marquez, 14-year-old Damon McHugh, 12-year-old Maria Mendoza, 14-year-old Javier Mora, 10-year-old Amaya Oswald, 14-year-old Viviana Ramirez, 17-year-old Christian Randall, 14-year-old Anna Romanovsky, 14-year-old John Saluda, 12-year-old Nisha Sharma. 12-year-old Mary Stevens, 12-year-old McKenna White, and 17-year-old Kendall Williams, by forcing them to stay in a juvenile detention room at Go City Academy, forcing them to stay there over the weekend, forcing them to stay in juvenile detention for 24 hours, swearing at them, telling them to stop crying like babies, telling them they won't escape because she wants to discipline them, and calling them very rude names. We also got complaints from a board member that the defendant forced the students to drink an extremely spicy milkshake, which includes 30 teaspoons of paprika, 40 teaspoons of cumin, 50 tablespoons of chili powder, and 100 tablespoons of hot sauce. She also said that they need to gulp it down no matter if they think it's spicy. She also made them go to the gym, put 20 bags of cold ice in the bathroom, picked up each student, slammed them down into the bathtub made the water extremely freezing cold, and yelled at them several times to take the shower until all the ice melted. The students were crying so hard because they wanted to get out of the shower, but the defendant locked the shower and did not make the students escape until all the ice in the shower melted. And at one point, one of the victims, 16-year-old Senahid Fail, found the milkshake extremely spicy to the point he was throwing up in the bathroom for 18 hours, sat on a toilet for 8 hours, and was left passed out on the floor for 10 hours, all because the milkshake was too spicy for him. Also, another victim, 14-year-old John Saluda, cried so hard from the freezing cold shower, to the point he had to get airlifted to go city hospital, after suffering from hypothermia. Thankfully, John recovered very well and is currently back at home with his mother and father, Joanna Cruz and Richard Saluda, as well as his sister, Liliana Saluda, and his two little brothers, Pedro and Pedro Saluda. The superintendent also received an email from the mother of 17-year-old Kendall Williams, saying that her daughter felt like she was being treated this way because of the color of her skin. She told her mom this. Mrs. Clementine had been verbally abusing me by giving me 24-hour detentions, and I believed she is doing this to me because I was black. Ultimately, this led to an investigation from the Go City School District, and they found that the defendant violated too many rules when it came to disciplining students. She did not feel like she wanted to apologize to the victims. She claims these students are misbehaving, and that is why she abuses them. Still, that is no excuse to just abuse kids in a very rude way. She was the principal, 
she was supposed to be taking care of them, suspending them for just a week or two, but instead, she decided to give them 24 hours in a juvenile detention room with extremely cruel punishments, including that cold shower. Additionally, every time students showed up to her office every day, she would ask them why they were there, but in a very rude way. For instance, she would always tell them, why the fuck are you guys here, and why the fuck are you guys crying like babies. And when they all failed summer school, she always told them, okay students, stop fucking crying like babies. She also told them to go pack their things and go to the bus concourse. But now she is forcing them to stay in juvenile detention every single Friday from 3.30 p.m. and forcing them to stay there until 7.45 a.m. every Monday. Students are supposed to go home to their parents every day. She also calls them the N-word every time. At one point, when a couple students got sent to juvenile detention, all because they were working in class, she said this. Watch the video to see what she said. God mother fucking 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 damn it 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 I am so fucking angry with these gross and disgusting cunts GR you see that, people? By the way, credit to Igor Badenhauser for the scene. Anyway, she said fucking about 15 times and damn it about 10 times, and called them gross and disgusting cons. You do not ever say the C word. That is one of the worst words in the world. And in her GRR count, she used R about 162 times. Yes, 162 times. I understand that she was angry with the behavior of her students, but that doesn't mean that she has to scream at the top of her lungs. And I don't know if you saw it, but she banged on the wall during her outburst. This indicated that she was ready to beat the crap out of her students. She doesn't even care about her students and wants them to have a miserable life. Now let's move on to the neglect counts. It is indicated that she intentionally did not give a crap about or didn't properly take care of 14-year-old Jahmin Abraham, 21-year-old William Anderson, 16-year-old Jaden Carter, 15-year-old Stefan Chani, 14-year-old Dominic Collada, 11-year-old Alan Doran, 12-year-old Emery Estrada, 16-year-old Senahid Fail, 13-year-old William Glover Jr., 10-year-old Frank Griffin, 12-year-old Anthony Hooper. 13-year-old Dora Marquez, 14-year-old Damon McHugh, 12-year-old Maria Mendoza, 14-year-old Javier Mora, 10-year-old Amaya Oswald, 14-year-old Viviana Ramirez, 17-year-old Christian Randall, 14-year-old Anna Romanovsky, 14-year-old John Saluda, 12-year-old Nisha Sharma, 12-year-old Mary Stevens, 12-year-old McKenna White, and 17-year-old Kendall Williams. I had to repeat the names because it says it here in the affidavit. Anyway, she didn't care about or didn't properly care about all 24 students, and at one point, she told them that when they are in juvenile detention, they will not be allowed to sleep, eat, or talk. And she said that if they were hungry, she didn't care, and told them that they could starve to death. And she said she'll be happy once they die. And when Kendall Williams told her that she was crossing the line, she straightforward told her, shut the fuck up bitch. Seriously? You are both the principal and the mother. If you can treat your daughter Clementine and son Billy with respect, why can't you treat your students with respect? You neglect to take care of your students. This behavior is unacceptable. I don't understand how this awful, disgusting, and disrespectful principal could mistreat her students like this. She has been the most disrespectful person I have ever seen in my life. She even tells her students not to swear, yet she swears herself. A couple of people tell her that it proves that she's a hypocrite, which in fact, that is true. The defendant is a hypocrite, 
and she needs to be held responsible for her actions. This proves, beyond a reasonable doubt, that the defendant, Sonia Heitzman Clementine, should be guilty of child abuse and child neglect. That is all, Your Honor. Thank you, Eric. All right. Now we are going to listen to opening statements from the defendant's attorneys. Mr. Bryant, can you please come up to the front? Please raise your right hand. Do you swear or affirm the testimony you're about to give will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth to help you God? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Can you tell me your name, please? Charlie Hector Bryant. Okay. Go ahead and give your statement. Okay. Yes, Mrs. Clementine is facing child abuse and neglect charges. And yes, she did abuse them and failed to take care of them. However, she did this due to the fact that her students were misbehaving. What she is doing is not criminal. Her students are not acting in a good manner. And that video of her lashing out, she had the absolute right to lash out and bang on the walls. And the fact that she calls her student rude names is because she is furiously angry at them. Like for example, when Dora and little Bill kicked one of their teachers in the leg, my client absolutely had the right to call them a stupid jerk. And she has the absolute right to give these students juvenile detentions for a whole day to teach them a lesson about how these students are acting. Obviously, if my client is angry, it's because of what these students are doing. She absolutely does care about her students, and she is threatening them by making them starve to death because of how they're acting. She does not want them to starve to death. She clearly said the lunch ladies will bring them breakfast, lunch, dinner, and dessert for every time these students are in juvenile detention. And about not letting them go to the bathroom, that is because she knows the students will lie. When Jora and little Bill asked to go to the bathroom, they instead gave their former teacher, Mrs. Kaplan Levo, a Barney error, and they left on the school playground. These students always lie about going to the bathroom. Additionally, yes, my client calls her students the N-word every day. Yes, she knows that the word is racist, but because the way her students are acting, she has to call them the N-word because of what they are doing. Additionally, when Jora and Little Bill attempted to kill Emma Lopez, she stated that because of the way they're behaving, Emma had to step down as Dora's therapist because she wanted to avoid Dora and Little Bill. And finally, when Little Bill washed his hands in the water fountain, Mrs. Robin ended up spanking Little Bill, and my client did the right thing by firing her for abuse. The same goes for her punching Dora in the face for putting poop and pee in the soap dispensers, Mr. Stephen Dallas punching Little Bill in the face for pooping in the sink, and Mrs. Jill Cole kicking Kylan in the stomach for putting her vomit in the sink. She fires them because of how they handled physical violence. That is all, Your Honor. Thank you, Mr. Bryan. All right. We will resume this trial tomorrow when Mrs. Clementine's former husband, Richard Hydeman, and her former daughter, Clementine Hydeman, will testify against our defendant. Prosecutors, please bring her back to jail. Court is now dismissed.